this is Cody, and I'm going to show you how to brush your hair. Okay, so um, you, if you don't have a hose over here right this second, like we do, the hose is at the barn right now, and we have a bucket of water, clean water. Um, you need some olive oil hair strengthener. It just makes the hair slippery, so you can easily brush them out. And a little rag to put the olive oil hair strengthener on. Another thing that you can use is Shoshin Cowboy Magic. Um, Cowboy Magic is my favorite. Shoshin works pretty well, though. But to save me money, I'll use some homemade detangler. Um, we'll just put some regular hair conditioner in it and fill it with water and it works really well. Now, you want to get your towel kind of damp. Just damp and squeeze it out. Squeeze any excess water off. Okay, and once that's nice and squeezed out, you just want to open your olive oil hair strengthener and get a little bit in your hands. Rub it into the towel. Get nice and slippery. And another thing that you need is just a hairbrush. Regular hairbrush. So I've got my products and my hairbrush. I'm going to go over to his tail. Shavings in his tail. Um, he was just out in the pasture, um, and we're just gonna get those out. Have some shavings, and they're just you're just gonna make sure you're gonna make sure that he knows you're there. Um, of course, if your horse isn't broke to this, you don't want to stand in back of him. You, um, even if your horse is broke to this, um, this is a eight-year-old horse. He's good at walking behind him and everything. Okay, and you just take your rag with the conditioner on it, and you're just gonna start at the dock. And just run it, run it down the tail, and make it nice and slippery. Try not to break any hairs whatsoever. And this smells pretty good too. So this horse kind of likes this kind of thing. I mean, of course, he likes gro grooming better, but he just likes this kind of thing, too. You're just going to get that nice and slippery. And this will strengthen the hairs, too. Make them a little bit easier. Now that's nice and slippery. You're going to grab your brush. And you just want to start at the bottom. If you're, his hair, if his tail is dirty, uh, his gets washed every two weeks, you just want to make sure that it's against your knee. It's a little dirtier. It might not happen as quickly or anything. And you just want to work your way up. And of course what we put in the hair is very slippery and it's not pulling out any hairs at all. And strengthening the hairs with that stuff. And I'm just going to use that stuff every time I brush the tail. No hairs so far. No pulled out hairs. And since we haven't gone to any horse shows, like big competition horse shows lately, all these hairs are just all hanging out. Just letting those grow out. And this stuff smells pretty good. Hair is nice and slippery. We've got one little hair out so far. Not big damage. Just want to get that nice and brushed out. And um, now you want to get your detangler and for like an extra little thing. You just want to spray it in wherever. It may seem a little dusty in here if you haven't washed your tail in a while. Just get that everywhere. Make it nice and wet. And now it's even tw it's twice as slippery, and you can just brush that out. 
and his tail when we bought it, it was up to here. Oh, let me move him over. As you can see, um, now he's standing. That's better. It, his tail was right here when we first when we bought him, which was about a couple months ago, like more than a couple, about ten months ago. And his tail has gone from there to here. Um, um, doing this, using these products, um, washing his tail properly. I will be showing a, how to wash a tail in a, another video. And the conditioner we just used, it's leave-in conditioner. And it made it nice and wet and we don't, we're not pulling out too many hairs, just a couple little hairs, not too much damage throughout this process. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want to pull out any hairs because it takes so long for it to grow up back. Now his tail is nice and pretty and clean. And it's kind of wet because of the conditioner. It's slippery. Then pull out too many hairs. One little hair on that little brushing. <laughs> Not too many hairs. Didn't do very much damage. And we picked up, got all the wood chips out. It's nice and pretty. Now, brushed out. And you don't have to do this every day. Because... It's not good for the tail, but if you have all those products and everything, it's a little better for it, the tail. So thank you for watching my video on how to properly brush.